Hey, this is Matt from Pipe Sports Institute. We're going to go over a lower body foam rolling routine today. Uh, the main guidelines needed is 60 to 90 seconds per major muscle is all you need. So it can be done within five to eight minutes, okay? So all you need is a foam roller. It can be a full length or a short one. So we'll start with the glutes. So we'll start one glute at a time, essentially. We're going to try to keep this leg as relaxed as possible. This one's gonna be up for stability to help move us. And then I like to be down on my elbow. From there, you can place this hand here to help rotate farther forward and farther back as you're going through that glute because foam rolling is essentially searching. You're looking for where it's tight and tender in the muscle. From there, you can spend about 30 seconds and then intensify it a little bit and get deeper by crossing the leg that you're in the glute up over the other and continue to roll, continue to rotate as much as you can, searching for where it's tight and tender. And then you can pause, find a tight spot, and now you can add a little bit of a stretch to that. And you can even pause at the top for about a second. Usually I do five per tight spot. Then you'll repeat for the other glute. We'll move on to quads. For quads, usually I like to keep my toes together and my heels out. And then from there you go to the tap the kneecap all the way to you go to the crease of the hip. I'll spend 30 seconds on the tops of the quads. And then I'll switch so that I'm getting the outside of the quad because unfortunately I'm completely missing that muscle fiber right now. So how I do that is I'm going to be foam rolling this lower leg here. So my right leg, this other leg comes up just to prop my hips at 45 degrees. I try to make sure my back toe is pointed slightly down as opposed to straight forward because now I'm more on my IT band. I want to be on the quad. So again, going from when you tap that kneecap all the way to the crease of the hip, walking your hands up and down as you need. I'll spend about 30 seconds here and then I can add a little bit of bonus time, which is basically bending that knee. So I'll find a tight spot then I'll bend that knee up. Okay, we'll move on to hamstrings. For the hamstrings, you can start with both legs on, making sure that you're rotating so that you're hitting all the muscle fibers. If that doesn't feel like it gets in deep enough, you can always add a little extra pressure. So you can add your other leg on top, now you have more weight. Don't forget to rotate. I kind of change my leg position as I need. And that's how you get into the hamstrings. From there, we'll move into the calves. Very similar to the hamstrings. Basically, you can roll both of them at the same time. And if you need to get in a little bit deeper, now you can add a little extra pressure and weight. And you can get a little bit of bonus time by pausing on a tight spot and adding some foot motions in there. Alrighty, there you are. Give it a shot at home.